Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you, um, I guess this would be my November book haul, but it wasn't intended to be that way. I did order from Thrift Books um, a little bit prior to Black Friday and then I also ordered from Amazon, I guess a little after Black Friday because both had um, pretty decent sales going on. Uh, I think Amazon there was a code that Skylar actually shared with me that was 15% off your purchase of books. So I decided to pick up a couple that um, I need for next year for a goal of mine. <laughs> so you'll probably be able to pick up on what it is, um, but I will have a separate video for that that will go up after this video. So the, let's see. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six books from Amazon and and seven books from Thrift Books. So the first three books I picked up were the books I needed to finish out my Fallen Kingdom series. Um, I've got book one, two, five, and six. I already had book three and four. And um, this is a series I've started on audiobook. I think I checked all of these out from my library. And I believe I got to book four, maybe book five. I don't think I finished book five. Um, so it's a series I want to finish, but I kind of like I know the gist of it but I don't really remember where the series left off too well so I would like to reread everything um and I think it would be um fun to do it with the physical copies now that I have all of them the audiobooks were really good though so I did enjoy listening to them that way so then the other two books I got from um Amazon were Blitter, Blitter Blue, <laughs> Bitter Blue, and Fire by Kristen Kishore. Um, I have Graceling somewhere, I can never find it, um, which I found at Half Price Books, and it was a really good copy. And so I decided that I'm kind of one of those people that I don't like to start a, not kind of, I am 100% one of those people that doesn't like to start a series. Um, unless it's finished basically. And I didn't want to start that book and not be able to jump right into the next books. So I decided it would be a good idea to pick up the other two books in the series and the trilogy. That way I could just binge read it if I feel like. So I have these two and I'm really looking forward to this. All I know is it's a fantasy series. Um, I don't really remember what it's about. But it was intriguing enough where I wanted to go ahead and pick up the full series um, without having read one book in it. So hopefully I like it, fingers crossed. If not, um, my local used bookstore will get some really good books, or at least really good condition books. So I have ordered from Thrift Books before. And I was really pleased with my first experience. This is only my second time ordering from them. But um, after this, I don't know if I'll actually be ordering from them again because, um, I mean, my first time ordering from them, all my books came in a box, which you would expect books to be shipped in boxes, or at least I do. And if not a box, like a really heavily padded soft envelope. Um, but these books, this order, split in two. Um, some books came from their Georgia warehouse, some from their Nevada warehouse. And both of them came in flimsy plastic bags. Um, there's holes in the bags. They're stretched out. And they're, like, thin. So, obviously, they're not going to keep the books nice. And, like, not stacked up. So, they end up, like, falling and tumbling and bending around each other. And I don't, like, I know I'm buying used books. And that's perfectly fine. I don't expect, like pristine conditions but when I order from books book um, retailers online where you can select the condition of book you get I typically go for like 
very good or like new condition to um, good. I don't typically go under those conditions just because if I'm paying money for books, um, I would like them to come in as nice of condition as I can get. So um, most of these books I ordered in very good condition and some were just in good condition. So I'm going to separate those out really quickly and then show you what what books came and what they look like. All right, so I am going to start with just the good condition and the odd book out of this stack is I Will Always Love You, which is the last book in the Gossip Girl series by Cicely von Zeigser. I never knew how to pronounce her name. Um, this isn't a terrible copy, but if you can see, there's warping on the pages, and um, some of them are sliced. Let's see if we can get a better view of that. So, like, the middle is just sliced, which, I mean, it's still readable, but... Um, I'd rather not have a book that's got sliced pages in it, if you know what I mean. So I don't know um, anything about their return policy, but I think I might return all of these just because I'm really disappointed in the quality. Um, so that's the first book. The next book in good condition is The White Princess by Philippa Gregory. The rest of these books are all by Philippa Gregory. And it's not bad, but it's one of those books that, like, it doesn't really even look like this book has been read. So I don't know if it was bent in shipping and just how it was sat. Um, but this, I think, could maybe be straightened out. Um, I might try. That's really the only thing wrong with this one. And I'd say this is probably, a good condition is probably the best looking book out of all of the ones that I got, even the very good condition books. So I might try to flatten this one out if I can. We'll see. The next book I got in good condition is The Last Tutor. Um, this one doesn't have too much damage going on with it. It's actually a really good copy as well. The spine's not like super broken, but it also has um, that bending going on and I know that when I received these books they weren't stacked anymore and they were bent over each other so I feel like that was most of it for these was that um, they just they just got a little beat up during shipping so moving into very good condition um, the first book I have is the Kingmaker's Daughter which really doesn't look that bad, but you've got a page that was miscut there, if you can see that. And this is really nitpicky, and I understand that. But again, I'm paying for very good conditions, so that's what I expect. Um, and then it's got a laminate. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the cover. And it's peeling up. So, um, yeah, that's not great because I know that's just going to continue to lift over time. Uh, the next book I have is Three Sisters, Three Queens. This one, again, had a miscut page, and this you'll be able to see a lot better. The, um, I don't think that's working, but, um, again, the laminate is peeling up quite a bit more on this book. Um, and then it's also doing the same thing on the spine. It's peeling up there and it's got quite the um, slope to the spine. The next book I have is The King's Curse, which this one actually isn't in that bad of condition. Um, it's got a couple like bends in the corners, which I'm totally fine with. Um, the spine's in good condition. It's not sloping at all. So this one this is what I expect a um, very good condition book to look like. And then the last one is The Red Queen. And 
This one again has a little bit of a sloping spine. It's mostly just that the spine is, um, again, I'm not sure you'll be able to see that, but it's quite broken in and bent, which I would say is more of like a used.